another Sunday at church and we're all coming in. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, Calvin and Adela Ray didn't have a good week last week because they had to wait in order to play uh, their Madden football game because they weren't being kind to each other. So, um, let's see what's going to happen. And I'm going to go to their, their house uh, later on. And I keep saying, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, I don't mean to, but it's okay. Now, I'm going to go to their house later. Visit them. This is Calvin. All I have to do today is church and I just have to sit here and pay attention to the youth pastor and um, not headbutt my cousin and um, I just have to just be polite and respectful in church and that way I get to go. Oh, here he comes now. This is a Delray. Yeah, all we have to do is sit here and cooperate, and we can go back and play men. So that's what we're going to do. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and we, we were ready. We're going to be okay. You want to move? No, you can. Not right there. Oh, we're starting to fight again. I better go. Yeah, he's a smart guy. Glad he's my cousin. Okay, glad to see everyone could make it to church today and i think we're going to have a great service all right now today we're going to be talking about praising god but in the midst of praising god and lifting up our hands as a form of surrender we're going to talk about waiting on god sometimes we need to praise god and say hallelujah and we also need to wait on God. So while we're waiting on God, we can praise God. Now, Psalms 27 and 14 tells us, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. Now, to wait, it means to have hope. We never give up believing that God will answer our prayers. It is important to praise God while we are waiting for God to answer our prayer. Praising God during this period helps us understand that while we're waiting, God is often preparing us for the answer to our prayer. And He's changing us too. Sometimes we have to change in order to receive the answer that God wants for us. Well, and also when we pray to God, when we wait, that doesn't mean we just sit there. It also means we have hope. And that's very important because we have to have hope and we never give up believing that God will answer prayer. It's always important to remember when we pray, we pray to a sovereign God. That means nobody's in control of him. He doesn't have a boss. And, you know, we're not the boss of God. We don't tell him what to do. He answers our prayers the way he wants to. Okay? Now, the Bible verse also tells us to be strong. That means to have courage enough to see the situation to the end. And um, that means, like for example, 
I'm not going to point out anybody in the room, but maybe you were waiting to play Madden and you haven't played it for like a week. And, and you have to be patient. But what the Lord is saying is, during that time, take courage. And that means to wait until the situation has ended. God wants us to be determined to see the end of that situation and never, ever give up our hope in Him. Never. It also talks about having a heart. This means that we have hope in God and we have hope that we believe He's going to enter our prayers. Now, a lot of times when people have hope, that means they're stubborn and they never, never, never give up. And people that are stubborn always keep trying and they're winners because they never give up trying. You know, like a good athlete. Good athletes practice and they practice and they practice. And when they play the game, they do everything that they can to win the game. And the reason why is because that practice has taught them to never, ever give up. So, just remember that. Okay? Now, that's all that we have for today. And I hope you guys have a great week. Remember, this week, and uh, we also on Monday, is Martin Luther King's birthday. So go out and see if you can serve somebody. All right? You guys have a great week. Okay, I heard the sermon. Now I can go home and play Madden. I didn't throw any paper at the youth pastor, uh, Brother Emmanuel. And now I can go home and I can play Madden. I can't wait. Yeah, let me get out of here right now. Okay, wow, that was really important. And... I'm going to learn to be patient, and I'm going to learn that when I pray to God and I praise God, I need to wait on the answer to my prayer, be strong, and have heart. So, and heart means I don't give up, I act real stubborn, and I try my best. That's what it means. So. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, I hear somebody running. I wonder what that could be about. Yeah. And I don't, well, let's see here. Well, I wonder what Adele Ray learned from it all. Because that's my cousin. And I, oh, I see him running over here. Oh! Over. Wow! I, I wonder what that was for. I better go home. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Yeah, Delray knocked me over. Ah, I wonder why. I just ran home from church. I'm out of breath. I have to. I didn't even wear my. I left my coat at church, and it's cold outside. I don't care. I'm gonna play Madden. I can't wait. I didn't throw paper. I wasn't disrespectful. Well, I gotta get some rest. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Hey, hey, how you doing, Uncle Calvin? Oh, boy. Let me get into the game room first and play Madden. Oh, okay. Now, Adela Ray hasn't even tried to figure out how I got home from church before he did. That's because he tripped over Calvin because he was running out of church to play the Madden game. Well, Delray, we're just not quite there yet, but you are getting there. You did show some respect to Brother Emmanuel, and you didn't throw paper, but we have a few more things to work on. So, 
Adela Ray. Just for a few hours, you'll have to wait before you can play the Madden game. I want you to be strong and take courage that, well, at the end of the process, you'll be able to play and have heart, be determined to see everything through. So, that's what's going to go on today because you were very impatient and you knocked over your brother, your cow, your cousin. I said I almost said your brother, but your cousin Calvin. Wait, wait, you mean I'm still punished for just a little while at Delray? Okay. You'll learn. You guys have a great week and remember, Martin Luther King's birthday is this Monday. Have a great time, everybody.